Hello, thank you for joining the channel. This is Hidden Gems Tarot. Um, we are going to go ahead and start this reading off, Leo, to see how your person here is, how you are feeling about your person here. Um, we're going to see these current energies, just a quick check in. Um, here's a little bit of mutual energy here. And then we are also going to see here, towards the end of the reading, um, wrapping it up to see how your person is feeling towards you and, and um, how they're progressing, okay? So, this reading, once again, is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take this video how it resonates and apply it, how, apply it to your situation um, as you need to. If this video does not resonate with you, you are going to go ahead and check your Sun um, check all your placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? All right, so Leo, I am seeing, so it looks like they're, what's going on here? So, there could be some, I feel like there is some type of emotional disconnect, disharmony in the home, um, could possibly, um, could be having marriage trouble, somebody you could be um, married to, okay? This doesn't have to be a wedding, doesn't have to be a marriage, okay? So there's just some challenges here in the connection. I'm just gonna say that. Okay, Spirit is asking you to pay attention and look for a sign here. So I feel like you could be um, looking for signs and um, just look for a sign here. Um, so, Spirit is also saying the situation is going to improve, so be on the lookout for any signs. Don't lose um, hope, don't lose faith. Okay, also, Spirit is also saying go with the flow. Just go with the flow, be spontaneous, don't try to control the situation. Don't try to overly control the situation, just take things day by day. Okay, so I see here um, with this North Node energy, once again, Spirit is saying to have faith in this connection. You do not need to worry about anything possibly um, bad happening. Here now is the time here you and your person are going to be going. Uh, moving forward here to your destiny path, there is going to be success here and many benefits here with this connection. We have this Aquarius energy. You or your person can have Aquarius in their chart. If you hear a dog barking, that's my dog, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to figure out how I can uh, get him to stop barking. All right. Um, so um, once again, Spirit says look for a sign here because you're going to find um, maybe discovering things or um, could be some communication coming in here. I feel like there's going to be sudden change and expected changes here. Um, different things happening here. So make sure you hold on here to your vision here because, um, you know, you're manifesting, right? So focus only on what you want to happen, not what you want to happen, not what you don't want to happen. Because if we focus on what we don't want to happen, we're going to keep creating that in our reality, okay? So recent past energy. So I feel like um, either you or your person um, came out of this deceptive energy guarding the heart, um, telling lies, not being honest with feelings, hiding feelings. So I feel like either you or your person is coming out of this energy here. Um, your, you or your person um, could have been maybe a little emotionally immature, unbalanced, kind of cold, distant, hiding feelings. Could have been some codependency here. We have the strength reverse here in the recent past. Um, there could have been you dealing with some uh, self-esteem issues, not feeling your best, not feeling um, that inner strength, or this could have just been your partner. Okay. Also, Spirit is saying don't take anything your person is doing to you that's affecting you negatively. Don't take it personally. Don't let it uh, damage you. Don't let it uh, damage your core. Don't let it affect your self-esteem. And you stand strong and you stand in your power here. Current energy, I see you. Um, 
I see you waiting for uh, your ships to come in, waiting to take action here, or waiting for your person to take action here. Um, I feel like you're looking at things from a uh, much wider perspective, with a bigger perspective. Um, so you're just um, here on the mountain here, um, just waiting. You know, I feel like you know intuitively um, there's big changes coming. And I see you're just waiting for your person to come in to meet you here at the top here. Um, on this throne, we can call this the throne, okay? So I feel like um, in the heart space for you, I feel like you are really awakening. Um, you and your person are really awakening here um, in this heart space here. Um, I feel like you are um, seeing things very clearly, seeing things for what they are. Um, seeing things for what they are, yeah? So, and then we have the hermit. So I feel like you could be spending a lot of time alone, you or your person, or both of you spending a lot of time alone, um, trying to find your way, gaining enlightenment, right? Looking for answers, researching, um, gaining clarity over the situation here before um, there is any forward movement. I feel like here in the upcoming future, or this could be for you now, um, I feel like you are going to step into more of your uh, personal power, feeling self-loving, feeling nurturing, stepping into that feminine energy here. This um, could be either you or your person. Okay. So either you or your person also, there could be some either running away from love or moodiness or you could just feel be feeling disappointments regarding your partnership with your person your person could be moody and guarding their heart um take that however that resonates um but the good news with that is we have a four of pentacles here um so i feel like you your person let's see give me one second here let's pull these two up so your person, you are wanting to create a new foundation, a more solid foundation, a better structure here for this partnership. You're ready to get rid of all the toxic BS, um, ready to get out of that devil energy here with your person. I feel like here you're making, um, you're, stay, you're trying to stay balanced here, trying to um, stay grounded, practical, could be making a decision here. All right, I also see you are waiting for your person to take um, action towards you, or you could be feeling inspired to take, um, wanting to take inspired action um, towards your person here. <clears throat> so for the mutual energy, um, I feel like there's not much communication here. I feel like you and your person possibly not really uh, communicating much here. This is the throat chakra here. The throat chakra is closed. So I feel like between the both of you, there could be very little to none uh, communication. Okay, now let's go over here to your person. So first card out, we have the magician, the magician and the mirror. Okay, so I feel like your person is, um, they were able to, you were acting as a, reflection um, for your person here I, I feel like your person is was able to um, your person was able to your person is looking at all the is gaining like uh, the confidence the strength here to overcome the obstacles and challenges here to move forward here so I feel like your person is getting ready here to take um, the lead here and to create um, a new beginning for um, the two of you or a change or just to make something happen or creating right okay so I feel like also your person was scared of change here the person could have been scared of change let me actually go over here so I can okay I feel like your person sorry about that guys so I feel like either you or your person was scared of change here your person could have been uh, emotionally distant or um, just some emotional immaturity, not having control over their emotions here. Um, but I feel like now what your person is trying to create here, what your person is manifesting, 
the person is trying to come forward here as the king of wands here to um, take the lead, like I said, to overcome obstacles and trials, tribulations, challenges here in a confident and courageous manner towards you to offer you a reunion here, right? To offer a reunion here, um, coming in here without a guarded heart here because here we have the king of cups here and his heart is guarded with a guarded heart here major disappointments being very moody and everything um, so I feel like your person is going to come to you um, with their heart on, heart on their sleeves okay moving forward here trusting in their heart Interesting, um, just that inner knowing here, right? So they're coming in with love to you. Okay, so we also have the moon. Uh, once again, like I said, I feel like your person is accepting here uh, their emotions here. The moon is um, <clears throat> the moon is all about emotions, feelings, right? Reactions. So your person is accepting their feelings here. Your person is trusting in their heart here to come forward and move towards you for this reunion here with courage and confidence here. The person is trusting their feelings to tell, let them, to tell them how to move forward here. Okay, because your person is wanting to nurture this connection. Your person's creating, like we said again, the self-confidence to create, to take a chance on here, moving towards you here. To take this leadership role and to create this confidently. Okay. So this your person's very focused. The person's focused on Leo. <laughs> it's funny. The person's focused on Leo. Okay. And Leo, it's so funny because the moons, we have the moon here. The moon speaks is like reflections here, you know? It's like a reflection here. And then we have the magician in the mirror. This is the reflection here. This is so interesting. There's the sun. Leo's ruled by the sun here. And then we have the moon. But that's, I'm not going to get too deep into that. Um, but Leo, yeah, you really inspire your person to be confident and be courageous here. Okay. Okay, so I feel like your person is going to start being more gentle with you, being more compassionate. Um, just being more in tune with their emotions. Your person is feeling like you are their abundance here. You're their Ten of Pentacles. You're their Ten of Cups. Absolute completion here. Okay, you make your person feel complete and whole here. Um, your person also could be wanting to offer you this abundance here in the physical realm. Okay, some of you, I feel like your person is going to want to take care of you. Okay, and Spirit is also saying there's no need to worry here. Um, your person is also saying that too. There's no need to worry. Okay. Your person could be wanting to take you on a honeymoon here. Um, this doesn't have to be a honeymoon. They could just want to go on a vacation, a getaway here, uh, taking you on a holiday time, spending blissful time together here. Um, your person could, um, says your love life is ascending to a higher level. Um, your person could be wanting uh, to get engaged to you or just take the uh, relationship to the next level. I feel like, once again, your person is going to start being, becoming more engaged here in this relationship and being more kind, compassionate. It's going to be more emotionally oriented. Um, your person is not going to want to um, keep hiding their feelings here. So in the recent past, I feel like your person could have been acting out a lot of devil energy, uh, could have been really controlling, could have been manipulative, just overall toxic energy here. Um, I feel like your person, um, there could have been some fighting, competition, um, heated arguments, or this could have just been your person um, just going through their own internal struggles and own battles. That's what I feel like. I feel like your person was going through their own internal struggles, difficulties, financial, whatever, however that resonates. Because your person, I see, was really stuck here in this um, negative energy, this unhappy, negative, depressing energy. Your person could have been depressed, okay? 
But now I see your person is wanting to move forward here um, to a new chapter here, to have a new beginning here, just to uh, wrap up that old cycle here and start a new cycle with you here. Because <clears throat> it looks like you two have completed this journey here. Um, I see your person has sort of uh, like hit rock bottom mentally. Your person's done fighting this connection, done um, trying to hide their feelings here. And I'm, I see they're ready to move to a better headspace and um, have a new beginning here. Um, because I feel like your person was really, it's just feeling really tired and just really like spiritually tired. Your person's tired of the struggle, tired of the, the super hard challenges, right? But I feel like your person here in the immediate future is not going to give up though because look, they're trusting their intuition. They're connecting with their higher self here. Um, really going within to find the answers, which is good. Um, and not uh, relying on other people to tell them, friends, family, telling them what to do about this connection. Okay, yeah, because look, your person is wanting the Six of Wands, wanting to be and feel victorious with you here. It looks like you and your person are going to have this victory. Okay, and also, um, lastly, it looks like your person um, is just doing a little bit of the last little bit of wrapping up here, um, surrendering to uh, this connection and surrendering and accepting their feelings for you. Um, cause they're looking at things from a different angle, different perspective here. All right. So to wrap up this reading here, we have the magician to clarify this hangman energy here. So your person is saying, uh, just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer, getting all the details together, trusting them and, uh, their intuition here so that they can have this victory with you. Okay, so that's what they are creating. That's what your person is manifesting here. So the uh, person is asking you to be patient here because they are ready to plant new seeds with you. They know that they have planted bad seeds in the past with you, but just be patient, please, um, because they're wanting to plant new seeds with you here. Okay, so your person is walking away, um, detaching from anything in the past that no longer works, no longer serving them here because they know they can't keep uh, living that life that they were um, living in the past. They can't be stuck and set in those old ways. So, um, Leo, also I want to mention another thing. Uh, we do have the, I believe it's 13 days from now. Um, so just hold on a little bit longer. Be patient here because your person is walking away here and creating, um, planting new seeds here. So we have the full moon in your sign in Leo coming up on the 28th of this month, January 28th. So um, we just had our new moon in Capricorn. Um, so give it about another two weeks, give it about two weeks here. Um, so you can see here because the seeds have already been planted here. So in about two weeks, you're going to see it harvest up here. And um, I see you guys are going to have this victory here and you're gonna win so just remain positive okay once again your person is telling you there is no need to worry no need to worry here person is gonna come in more gentle with you person is gonna ask to take you on a trip or a honeymoon here. could be getting engaged your person is gonna want to propose to you and offer you this complete abundance here offer you this reconciliation here your person's also, yeah, offering this reconciliation, coming in with this cup of love here. Okay, and this time, more confident, confident and courageous here, right? No more coward, no more being a coward, no more hiding your feelings, right? Okay, once again, go with the flow, Leo. Go with the flow. Keep looking out for signs because the situation is going to improve. It's going to improve. All right. Okay, Leo, thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button, okay? I will see you on the next video. 
and stay positive. The situation is going to improve. Have a good day.